Oh, what up, my dudes? I'm doing on today. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to Louis Vlogs. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What up, my dudes? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ah, today is a nice, beautiful day, and I want to get things done today before it gets like hot, hot, hot during the summer. So I'm doing everything right now as we speak. It's been a week since we moved into this house, my dudes. A week. So we still have boxes everywhere. We still have stuff that doesn't belong, and we still have a lot of trash. In the garage, you guys saw that. Um, save my dad. You guys don't want to see what's inside the garage, like at all. But today is not the today. We're not going to be cleaning out the garage. We're going to clean out some mess, but not all the mess. Today is all about these two trees. That's right, tree one and tree two. We're going to be trying to taking these out today. Me by myself personally, because no one wants to come and help me out. No one comes through. You know what I mean? I wish I was in Idaho because I know my boys in Idaho, my cousins in Idaho, my homies in Idaho, my bro was in Idaho. They'll come. They'll help me do this because this is the kind of stuff we like to do. We used to like do yard work. We used to cut grass. We used to. Uh, set up barns we used to do all that all that fun stuff farm life we used to do so it was very nice but now that they're not here it's kind of sad and i miss them hmm anyways so we're gonna take out these trees and why because right here my car is gonna come through right here and it's gonna be scratching all of these and then there and then people are just like well how you just don't trim the tree down do we trim it down so it can look nice I thought about it, but I'm just like, no, because all the leaves will fall, and then the birds will land on the trees, and they'll start, you know, they'll start crapping on the car, and I want no crap in my car, you know what I mean? So I'm going to be taking off these trees. I know they're nice trees, and they're gorgeous trees. Not this one. This one's leaving like a hell of a mess. You guys can tell from the bottoms is all this tree's mess. So we're going to be taking all this junk and all this trash out, and the best way we're going to do it. See, they can try the owner before me. He kind of cut it down. You see some cut marks. I bet you it was like blocking the sidewalk. So I don't like this tree at all. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna take off this tree, take off this tree, and this little palm looking thingy. I don't know what to do with it. I mean, I like it, but I really don't want it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I don't want it here because the goal is of our plan is that we want to put cement here to fit, like to have more space for another car because these, these driveways right here, they're too tight. They're like super, super tight and they're super close together. So I don't really, like that but we're gonna start today's vlog by taking off these trees that we're gonna do today my dude so i won't be raking all this back i'm not gonna record the whole process of it i'm just gonna be cutting the scenes like i always do so yeah so once i clear this all this gunk back up and once i get to the plastic under i try seeing if there is plastic under because it should be plastic under so i try doing it with my feet and i don't see no plastic and it has to go in deeper but i'm trying to save as much rocks as i can and now this trash has to go like it has to go so let's get to work my dudes this is what i've done so far my dudes i put everything the trash in one pile trash in one pile i'm trying to save the rocks as much as possible because you guys don't know rocks are very expensive like expensive so i got these up in pile right here and i got these up in pile here every, every time i vlog a car would pass by anyways i got these rocks in pile these rocks in pile and i'm trying to get to the plastic but what i'm thinking is i'm gonna start cutting down these trees so i can get the branches out so i can get a better view of everything inside because we got branches laying down coming out right there we got branches over here branches over there so i'm gonna start chopping some of this tree down so i can get a better view of it and see what i'm really working with and after that i can start digging and to make matters worse, I do not have electrical ones, so I'm doing anything by hand rake, hand shovel, hand everything. Hand everything, all the supplies here just in case if I need them. But everything's gonna be done by hand, dude. It's just brutal force workout, my dude, just to get this tree out. This is what I want to show you guys. It's this paper or plastic or wool material that goes under and then the rocks go on top of it. This is to prevent from weeds from growing out. So this is what you have to aim for, what you have to get for. I didn't want to start shoveling because I didn't want to damage this at all. So what I have to do is I have to push back all this dirt and rock back. You guys can see the tree roots under already. See how it pokes through? It made a hole already. So I have to push all this dirt backwards. At least up to this rock. I'm guessing this rock at the top of it holding it down. That's gonna be hard to get to. Or maybe I have to cut around it. Huh. Don't know yet, but I need to try to pull this back, try to save as much as I can as possible. This is another reason why you don't want to be digging around right away because you don't know if it has a water line under it. And if you hit it with the shovel or the pickaxe and you damage it, then now you know that you have a water problem. But yeah, you just gotta be careful and be cautious. I'm almost done, my dude. I'm just trying to push all this dirt back. Or to see how far back it is. I might have to like cut it around. I'm not sure yet. Still trying to get a better view of it. Of what I'm dealing with. 
So yeah, give me some time. So my Uncle Pete came to the rescue to help me out. This is where I got stuck. And his best bet was to try to dig around the tree and start cutting the roots. And once the roots are out, the tree won't grow back. And after they would just pop up, I believe, how we're gonna do so. so he's just, he's just axing it down. He's, look at that. That's some Thor power right there. Damn, we got some long roots. We don't know where they lead to, but we're just gonna chop them off. See, like that one? We gotta get some sunlight. We've been using the car jack to lift it to the side, to the other side, and now we're doing it from the other side now. We've been taking play, and that's how deep we got it. So this is kind of this is kind of deep. Don't want my uncle. Please try to bring it down. Let's see if I can help him out a bit. Let me put this straight. No, wait. Let me put my camera down. Let me help, let me help my uncle Pete. I haven't vlogged that much. I'm trying to take advantage. So I'll be right, right, my dudes. It's a lot of dig and play and dig and dig and dig, but we dig a lot. We cut all the roots we thought was the roots with the car jack. You guys saw we just kept going up from the and it kept to this from an angle. Then we dig under and we chop off those roots. And now we're gonna think we're gonna pull it with the car, with the truck. Is automatic or, or manual? Autom oh, mine. Push the button. All right, so most likely we're gonna use Linda and we're gonna try to pull it out. I say no, but Pete is here, so he, I have faith in him, but I don't know, I might mess up my cement, I don't wanna mess up anything, but we're gonna figure out how it goes, so. Oh my goodness, I don't think I'll be able to record this because Pete's not a good recorder, so. I'm just doing it myself, let's see. I do not have faith in this method and this car is right here bother me. Oh, I think he can pass. What is he going to do? Oh, I'm sorry, my dude. You have to go around. Oh, he lives right there. So I got Uncle Pete back there, strapping up the truck, and we're going to pull this sucker out. Like, again, I don't have faith in this at all, but Pete says it's good, so I trust this guy. Just go straight, Move your, move your wheel Okay. Ready? Yeah? Just go slow. I'll, I'll tell you. Okay, you guys are going to watch in the back. Go straight. I'm going to watch you. Go. Go. Let it go. Okay, back it up a little bit and just jerk it a little bit. Okay. That's good. That's good. Just a small jerk. Small jerk. Okay, here we go. Go. Go, go, go. No, you should. I should go faster. Should yeah, let me go faster. I gotta go faster. That's because I don't trust this method. I'm like super stinch. Ready? Here we go. Oh, great. It just did a pill out. I burned out in my neighborhood. My fresh tires, yo. <laughs> Dang it, I don't think it's a good idea. And there's Pete right there. He's having me in rain. You guys can see him. Just doing work in there. Trying to get those roots out. That guy's old, but he's strong, man. 75 years old. Damn, veteran. He went to Vietnam War, I believe. But this this guy's crazy, yo. He's crazy. Oh man, I don't, I don't, I don't like this. I don't know, I don't know what's going on. Like I don't, I can't see nothing. But I just burned out the tires. I don't. I these neighbors don't even like me. All right, here I go. Oh. Oh, I think I got it. Do I park it? I'm gonna park it right here. I like my neighbor's truck though. Look at this truck. That's clean. Yeah, gotta give me one of those, yo. Just leave it right here. And let's go see the aftermath. Let's go see this. Good job, Linda. Good job, Linda. Chevy, Chevy. Oh my goodness. To cut those two so that you can get it off. It was just those two? Those are those, yeah. Damn. Well, we didn't, didn't, miss, we didn't mess up the cement. 
Hi. Oh, that's a deep hole. Hold on. Well, that tree's out. That's one. <laughs> From all this mess. Next one, this one right here. Wow. Damn, this sucker. This sucker took all day. Been up since 8 a.m. doing this. I'm sorry, my dude, I couldn't record that of me pulling it out. Ah, oh, man, I need like a camera person to be with me all the time and stuff. But that's probably that's only how a little bit of subscribers. But it is what it is, my dudes. I mean, we got this tree finally out. It took me all day. I'm so, so excited. All right, I got to go back to work. Without tree number one, I mean, it looks like way better, my dude, from far away. In my opinion, it looks way better. I don't know about you, because that tree was disgusting and throwing trash everywhere. And I didn't want to have that. And then when I have the cars here, it's going to be scratching the cars, leaves on the cars. Like I said, bird crap. We don't want no bird crap on the cars. So this is tree number two we're going to try to take out, Pete and I. My uncle's doing work. My uncle's a beast. And then this one, I don't know about this one yet, but I don't know. But this one has to go for sure too. So we're going to do the same method with this one. Dig a hole, get all the roots, chop off the roots, and maybe get the truck again and pull it. Or if not, if it's easier, just pull it up. But we're going to... We're gonna see, we're gonna see. Just give me time to figure this out now. I'll, I'll pick up the camera again when we got further down the line. Good news, good news. This tree oh, was this tree was easier to pull out. We just took out the main root that my uncle found, and then after that we just moved to one side, and then got moved to the other side. But we still think there's main root, so he's just checking, he's gonna be chopping down our way. But this is way easier than that sucker over there. So good news, my dudes, that this tree's coming off. Good news, good news. Just when I was getting the hang of it, we got we got it. The main root we had to find from the main trunk, and once you cut that, it'll be way easier. And tree number two came out way easy, just by physical. We just moved to one side, chop it from the side, moved to the other side, chop it from the other side, and it just came out way easier. So tree number two, way easier. So all we gotta do is clean up all this mess. We are finally done. Look at this. It looks so perfect. Except for this. We're going to do that later on, but not today because we're burning daylight. As long as we got this done, it doesn't even look like we were here. Well, a little bit of a mess, but we tried to do the best we can, but it looks like it's not here. This tree gone looks way better. To me, it looks way cleaner. And I have all the trash back up here, but I still have to do this tree right here, and I still got to pick up all the rocks, so that's going to come later on. But we finally got this tree out. Easy, my dudes. So... We're getting this house done little by little. Once it's finally complete, I'll go to you guys and I'll show you guys the inside and the outside I was working on. And I took advantage of this because the weather is so perfect today. It's like in the mid 50s. So it's like not too cold, not too hot, like perfect weather. So if you guys like what I do, subscribe down below at Louis Vlogs. Follow me on Instagram at Louis Vlogs. Like my favorite page at Louis Vlogs. See you guys next one. So peace out.